Some of y'all did not think I was just gonna come in with tips and did not show any proof. Yes, I'm showing you my inner look. to my channel is Kayla Shay here if you are new hope you decided to join the family by subscribing down below be sure to click the notification bell because I post two times sometimes three times a week you do not want to miss my upcoming videos if you've been with me for a while I right, know I really appreciate your support we're on the road to 1k subs and it's lit also feel free to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter they'll be right here on the screen and as well as in the description down below you know we're family we <laughs> like this so why not follow me on my socials so if you've already read the title of this video this is about cracking YouTube's algorithm Really, some of y'all don't know what YouTube algorithm is, but it's okay because I'm going to tell you. So if you're interested in learning what the YouTube algorithm is and how to use it in your advantage in growing your YouTube channel, let's get into the video. Alright, so the first thing is, what is the YouTube algorithm and what's its purpose? YouTube's algorithm is a system that helps push your videos to different viewers. Now the algorithm focuses on two main things, and that is video engagement and audience retention. The algorithm controls all aspects of YouTube. So the search bar, not the, well, the search page, the recommended page, suggested toolbar, literally everything on YouTube is ran really by YouTube's algorithm. Now the purpose of YouTube's algorithm is to get their viewers, our subscribers, to stay on their platform for as long as possible. Think about it, creators on YouTube, after you become monetized, you're able to make money out of YouTube. And y'all don't think YouTube is making money off of creators having their subscribers watch them? Duh, they are like, come on out, like, what? What do you think this is? This isn't. This is not free. This is. This is not a free game. But the big question is, how do we crack this thing? How do we crack this YouTube algorithm? What do we need to do in our channels to be able to use the algorithm in our advantage? And I have five tips that are going to help you learn how to decide. So the first thing is that you need to optimize all of your videos. Everyone talks about the SEO, search engine optimization. When you're optimizing your videos, that means you are making your videos searchable, meaning the title of your video needs to have searchable keywords or just a searchable title. Also, you can utilize your tags and your description box. And you can even use your thumbnail to optimize your videos as well. All of these things should have similar keywords that are able to tell your viewers and YouTube's algorithm what your video is about. I hope y'all did not think I was just going to come here with tips and did not show any proof. Yes, I'm showing you my analytics. So, for when it comes to being searchable, I have my computer right here in case y'all wonder what I'm looking at. I'm going to show you all the analytics for my iPhone 11 Pro unboxing. If you all have already seen this video, I'm not gonna lie. According to me, it blew up. It blew up. Currently, um, I don't not see, well, right now I can't see the whole thing. But this is my analytics. So this is the overall. Um, I think right now I have five, almost at 5,000 views total and that is since it has been published and I published this on July 14th. So, like I was saying about being searchable, here when you click the reach, this is how you see how people found your video. So when you scroll down and of course go to the traffic source types, 82.2% of my traffic is from YouTube search. So this is basically the graph that shows we have YouTube search is blue. And then these green, yellow, and purple ones are either it being a suggested video. Um, either they were like, it was on the recommended page for a browse feature or other YouTube features. But you can see like, the search was crazy. Now the question is, what were people typing in the search bar to see my video? So here we're gonna go back. And when you scroll down, traffic source, YouTube search. So here you see they, a lot of things were searched. And of course, this blue line was searched the most, which is iPhone 11 Pro unboxing. Now the title of my video is iPhone 11 Pro unboxing plus first impression, right? So that was the number one first search. The second one is gonna, it says iPhone 11 Pro. Although it's not the entire type in the entire title of my video, it's a portion of my video, and I'm pretty sure I had a tag that says iPhone 11 Pro, and that 538 people typed that in and were able to find my video. 
the third highest searched is unboxing iPhone 11 Pro Max. Like I said, it's not the exact title of my video, but 9 times out of 10, I had a tag that said unboxing iPhone 11 Pro Max. And then let's see, the fourth most time. And then the fourth most search is iPhone 11 Pro unboxing. If they're not even looking for a Pro Max, they were just looking for iPhone 11 Pro and they found my video. 103 people. So it's all about making your videos searchable. If YouTube doesn't know what your, what your video is about, they don't know who to suggest it to, they're not going to suggest it at all and they're not going to sit around trying to figure out what your video is about and then, oh, let me pick out and see who we need to suggest it to. Now, a big tool that you can use to help with your search engine optimization is going to be VidIQ and TubeBuddy. I will be making videos on how to use both of them to help you make your videos searchable but they are both extensions that you can add to chrome and literally it gives you all type of ideas when it comes to title names when it comes to tags when it comes to figuring out what videos will actually be good okay, so the second tip is to work on your engagement and when i mean engagement i'm meaning having people like comment on your videos now when it comes to comments yes one comment on your video does show the youtube's algorithm that people are engaging with your video but what you need to understand is when you like or love or heart that comment and respond to that comment it's one comment that has three total engagement it is very important to respond to every single comment and not just because it'll help you with your youtube's algorithm but because i mean you appreciate your support it's like look if you check any video of mine you will not find a comment that does not have a response for me and a genuine response for me at that being sure to respond to every comment it helps increase your engagement on your videos which makes it more likely that youtube is going to push your videos along with the comment section it is important to always remind your subscribers or your viewers to like and comment I'll say myself as a youtuber sometimes yeah I forget so throughout the video you know just have a little animation in the corner anywhere on the screen you know like comment subscribe or just be sure you know in the middle of saying hey do not forget to like comment subscribe like right now if you haven't liked comment and subscribe in this video like what are you doing <laughs> like seriously come on now come on. like seriously like now okay the third tip is to create attractive thumbnails. And I'm not talking about some little cute thumbnail that you know. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, but people are gonna scroll past it. I'm talking about a thumbnail that's going to attract someone's attention, that's gonna grasp them. And when they see it, like, oh wow, this looks so cool. Oh, this is a beautiful picture. Or, oh, I really wanna see how they did that. Or, oh, I wanna figure out what was done in this video. Not just something that, you know. Yeah, that's kind of mediocre. And we're gonna be honest, no one is going to click on a blurry thumbnail that has about two words you don't really even know what the video is about here's an example and we're going to use my channel for because i feel like my thumbnails have truly come a long way and if you're interested in learning how to upgrade your thumbnails i'll be sure to link that video right here in the i cards and as well as in the description box down below but you know i do makeup videos do you think someone would click this thumbnail or this thumbnail which one would you click that's the real question because i know which one i click but which one would you click and also when it comes to those thumbnails don't just have the title on the thumbnail i mean we can you they're able to read the title on the thumbnail have some type of catchy phrase or if your picture is just flawless the picture should be enough but if you have you know like a little action going on put some type of catchy phrase that'll like have viewers curious and want to click on your video to watch now fourth tip is going to be you need to increase your audience retention now when it comes to audience retention your video should be one out of three things either informative some sort of entertainment or at least relatable these are three things that youtube and really anyone would consider valuable content so for audience retention my analytics i'm going to show is from my sheen haul um it is it was the summer try on haul so this is the and these are the analytics of my sheen haul now when it comes to audience retention of course it's all about being relatable entertainment or informative but also what's trending um we're it's in summertime although we might be in quarantine people are still shopping of course people still want to see what cute summer outfit ideas that you might possibly have so here when it comes to my views you can see that on the first day Typical in this period, they expect about 15, 19 to 50 views. I had 104, which is really good. And then you just see that it just continuously increased. Now, like we're talking about audience retention. 
So a good audience retention percent is truly about 35 to 47 percent. If you look it up on Google, it's going to be about they're going to say like 70 to 80 percent. But in all honesty, it's kind of hard to get that audience retention depending on the length of your video. So the length of this video was 11 minutes and two seconds. So my average duration was about five minutes and 13 seconds, which gives me a average percent viewed of 47.2, which is actually really good. When it comes to improving your audience retention, go to your videos and you need to study and understand where in the video did your views decrease? What exactly were you doing at that exact moment when people stopped watching? Sometimes it could be a moment where you're rambling or it's like you just kind of gave some information that I don't, who knows it wasn't really good or just the more you look at your videos and you figure out where people are stopping to watch that's how you know to kind of tweak either your content or how you record or what you're saying or you know who knows what as a small youtuber which i'm guessing some of y'all are small youtubers when it comes to audience retention the length of your video really does matter especially as a small youtuber just because people don't know you yet so they're kind of like clicking on your video trying to get the feel of who you are and what your content's about so first of all it's really important do not waste your viewers time in the first 15 or 20 seconds with a long intro you literally have those 15 or 20 seconds to grasp their attention to make them more interested and curious about what's going on in the video so if you've seen in some of my videos I usually start off with either my quick little hey guys welcome back to my channel intro or like something that's funny or later in the vlog or something like that you want to start it with something that's catchy entertaining something that's gonna have them curious and then after those 15 20 seconds then you know put your short intro which literally your intro should at least be shorter than like 12 minutes like mine's 11 I wish it was shorter but it shouldn't be that long and then continue on with your video now when it comes to the length it needs to be at least more than 10 minutes with a five minute video they're more likely going to watch about a minute and a half that's not even half. So when you have videos that are 10 minutes or longer, you have a greater chance of having your audience retention percentage higher. So it's very important to know your viewers. With lengthwise, like I said, longer than 12 minutes, well at least 12 minutes, but like sometimes you don't wanna go no longer than like 20 to 25. I personally, I know my viewers love my blogs and I've you know tested different lengths out when it comes to my blogs and I know I could do a 30 minute vlog and my retention is gonna be pretty good honestly so it's all about also knowing how long they're actually gonna stay on your video depending on the content so just to show another side of my analytics for my audience retention I just really want y'all to know that these things I'm telling y'all really does work so the first video I showed with my analytics my Sheen try on haul that was an entertainment video now this video my learn how to promote your channel video it was a very informative video so when it came to my audience retention people were my audience retention was actually pretty good so here you can see my audience retention was a 53.7 percent which is actually really good um, I realized most of my how to and my informative videos do have a longer audience retention and you can just see here it's very consistent and that's really what you want is consistency here in the impressions and how they led to watch time so YouTube about 3,284 people they pushed my video to about 3,284 3, people and out of those 89 people clicked on my video and actually watched it the purpose of showing this is to show how many people they actually pushed my video to yeah I only got 89 but at least the fact that they pushed my video at all that's a lot that says a lot and the fifth and last tip is to join support groups I've spoke about this on how to promote um, in the how to promote your channel video which I have an iCloud iCard and in the description box down below but having support groups is really helpful just because when it comes to YouTube's algorithm and determining whether or not they're going to push your video it's all about that first two to three hours after your video is uploaded is when they determine if they want to push it or not so in those two three hours you use you should utilize your notifications that are being sent out to your supporters and your support groups 
to kind of get that engagement and that audience retention going on your video as soon as it uploads. So that is all of the tips that I have for you on how to crack the YouTube algorithm and how to use it for your advantage in growing your YouTube channel. I hope this video was informative. I hope you learned something. Of course, if you ever have any questions about anything I spoke about or have any questions that I did not mention, feel free to comment them down below. You already know I will most definitely be commenting back. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Do not forget to click that notification bell as well. Feel free to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. I love you all and I really appreciate your support. We're on the road to 1K. <laughs> love y'all. I'll see you in my next video.